So autonomous vehicles and surgical robotics are two of the hottest fields in robotics. In this video, I, Sina, a surgical robotics engineer, talk about top fields in robotics and key players like Apple who are fighting like hell for robotics engineering talent. All right, let's dive right in. The hottest field in robotics is for sure autonomous vehicles, also known as self-driving cars. Tech giants are investing billions of dollars in R&D and startup acquisition. There is a fight like hell for self-driving car engineers due to huge shortage of talent. Top robotics engineers in this field are paid as high as $10 million a year, according to Sebastian Throne, who is known as the father of robot cars. Money aside, these robotics engineers could potentially save hundreds of thousands of lives each year, which is more lives than a cure to a deadly cancer could potentially save. What's more rewarding than that, right? All right, now, how can you become a self-driving car engineer and what are the required skills? You will get to that, but first, who are these giant tech companies that are hiring self-driving car engineers? Well, the leading company is Tesla. While Tesla is the head of the game with their own AI chip and more than 3 billion miles worth of data, the following companies are playing catch up. The first company is Google. Google's Waymo is developing autonomous driving technologies, including ride hailing service, tracking, and local delivery services. Waymo has a ton of open positions for robotic software and hardware engineers. The second company is Apple. Apple is developing autonomous systems, including a self-driving car called Apple Car. And we saw an opportunity to transform another fundamental method of transit, and we call it Apple Car. The third company is Amazon. Amazon Zeusk just recently revealed a prototype of its, a prototype of its robot taxi called, I don't know what it's called. And Amazon Zeusk also has a ton of open positions for robotics software engineers. Apart from these high-tech companies, Uber and Lyft both are working on robot taxis and almost all automakers are developing a robot car. Just to name some, we've got Cruise by General Motors, Argo AI by Ford, and also from the startup world, you've got Too Simple, Torque, Aurora, and many more. Just please refer to the description box for an updated list. But Sina, I'm not living in the United States. What about other countries? Well, autonomous vehicles is a global trend and honestly, it's more of a race between different countries. The most serious competitor to the United States is China. In China, you've got Pony AI, Alibaba, Baidu, Didi, and the list goes on and on. In Sweden, Volvo is developing autonomous trucks in addition to startups like Autoliv and Einride. Also, we've got Hyundai in South Korea and Aptiv in Ireland. In Germany, almost all automakers are developing self-driving cars, including Audi, Mercedes, and BMW. In India, you've got Nvidia, Bosch, Mercedes, Flux Auto, and a couple of others. There are companies and startups in France, Israel, Canada, Japan, and Russia. Okay, now, do you need to go to MIT, Stanford, or other universities to become a self-driving car engineer? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, Udacity, which is an online educational platform, has trained more self-driving car engineers than any institutions in the world. If we can build a safer car, we would save a lot of lives. Udacity offers two nano-degree programs, one for beginners and one for people with background in programming and math. Coursera also offers a self-driving car specialization. Whether you're coming from academia or industry, these courses will provide you with the foundational knowledge and practical skills you need to help build a new future with self-driving cars. Please refer to the description box for links to all of these programs. All right, now is the time for a surprise giveaway. If you happen to enroll in any of these programs through my referral links, please direct message me on Instagram and I'll give you a free 30 minute coaching session, which is worth $50. Now, if you don't want to pay for any of these online programs, but you still want to become a self-driving car engineer, here are the skills you need to learn. Computer vision, deep learning, localization and motion planning, and PID controller. But Sina, 
these are software skills how about hardware skills that's right my friend robotics car companies hire a lot more robotics software engineers than robotics hardware engineers but why we'll talk about that in a separate video but for now please subscribe and stay tuned all right the second hottest field in robotics and my favorite is surgical robotics i'm a surgical robotics engineer after all right so surgical robotics is growing like crazy almost every month a new surgical robotics startup pops up out of nowhere all major medical device companies either already have a surgical robot in the market or are developing one don't believe me look at this image soon there would be a robot for almost any organ or joint of the human body unlike autonomous vehicle companies who are still testing robot cars surgical robotics companies have already installed more than 6,000 robots which have been used in millions of surgeries so far key players are intuitive surgical with da vinci robot a striker with Mako, Medtronic with Mazora X, J&J with Oris, and the list goes on and on. So these surgical robotics companies are all competing for a limited pool of talent in the field. So if you pick up the following skills, you'll be in high demand. Robot kinematics, control systems, navigation, and FDA, <coughs> FDA design control. Hey Sina, you're a surgical robotic engineer. What's it like to be a surgical robotic engineer? Well, the only thing I can tell you is that I love what I do, especially the feeling that my work makes a positive impact on quality of life of hundreds of thousands of patients each year. More on that in a future video and another reason for you to subscribe. All right, the third field is mobile robotics. Autonomous mobile robotics is another field in robotics that is growing fast. Mobile robotics has its own subfields that includes humanoid robots, aerial robots or drones, land and home robots and security and delivery robots well with the autonomous vehicles becoming mainstream there will be a growing need for humanoid robots that can take your package from the autonomous van and deliver it to your door you think this is too futuristic you're wrong this is exactly what ford and agility robotics are working on right now A dream place for many robotics engineers is NASA. NASA JPL hires robotics engineers for development of their rover and robonaut. Japan is probably the leading country when it comes to humanoid robots with Pepper by SoftBank, Asimo by Honda, and THR3 by Toyota. Their companies in China, South Korea, UK, Spain, Italy, India, and in Iran who are developing humanoid robots. All right, when it comes to home robots, iRobot is the leader with the Roomba vacuum robot and Terra the robot mover. Amazon Robotics and Alibaba in China are the two giant companies who are making warehouse robots and delivery drones. They both are big recruiters of robotics engineers as well. Okay, I know what you're dying to ask now. Sina, you forgot Boston Dynamics? Of course I did. Boston Dynamics and Hanson Robotics, the company who makes Sophia, do not need any introduction right okay now how to become a mobile robot engineer well udacity offers a great comprehensive nano degree program that teaches you all the essential skills for mobile robot we have robotics in space in toys in your home if you think about the definition of robotics which is sensing thinking making a decision and then taking an action so many things in our world are using robotic technology. The link is in the description box. All right, what else is hot in robotics? Robotics process automation is probably the fastest growing field in robotics. There exists more than 3 million industrial robots and collaborative robots, also known as cobots, around the globe. Automating almost everything from making cars and airplanes to even cooking burgers. Robotics process automation is hot in China, Japan, South Korea, Germany, Italy, France, Mexico, India, and Canada. See the description box for a list of key players in this field. Okay, now what's in it for you? The benefits for you is twofold. First, industrial robot manufacturers need robotics engineers to design and build more advanced and less expensive industrial robots each year. 
Second, the companies who use cobots, including automakers such as Tesla, need robotics engineers to program these robots to automate manufacturing processes. Now, what are the skills you need to pick up for this field? The key skills are robot kinematics and ROS. Refer to the description box for resources to learn these skills.